it's time for LS1 versus LS2. You know, the 5.7 liter versus the 6.0. We're going to compare them naturally aspirated with a camshaft. We're going to compare them supercharged with a Vortec. What happens to power? What happens to boost? Why is this guy waving his arms around? Please, while you're here, just go ahead, do me a solid. Make sure, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff so you get notified when I do all this testing. But what happens when we run a bigger, better motor with the same blower? There's only one way to find out. Out. let's head to the dyno okay guys we can jump right in in our comparison between the original 5.7 liter ls1 and the 6 liter ls2 and here's what i want you to think about the original ls1 was rated at 345 horsepower the ls2 is rated at 400 horsepower keep this in mind when we're taking a look at our comparisons unfortunately i don't have a direct back-to-back -back comparison of a stock ls1 the way that we run it and a stock ls2 the way that we run it because i did run both of those but unfortunately when we ran the ls1 it was very early on when we ran it stock and the software changed in between there <laughs> so the and, and it didn't change any of the values or anything it just didn't allow me to overlay one versus the other they they just didn't communicate so what i have here is i have our ls1 with our comp extreme energy 265 camshaft because we also ran the ls2 with that same camshaft so we'll do that comparison and then we'll compare these to na and then we're going to jump right into comparing the two with the same camshaft under boost lots of good stuff so here we go this is our 5.7 liter ls1 with our comp extreme energy cam it also had a, a valve spring upgrade we ran both these motors in the same condition on the same dyno we ran both of them with the these long tube headers these hooker long tube headers obviously we had an optimized tune for both of them we ran them both with the mazir electric water pump meaning no accessories and, and an open throttle body for both of them the um ls1 had the ls1 intake manifold obviously the ls2 has all that stuff but run with the, our, our our cam our comp cam ls1 produced 444 horsepower for those guys that want to know when this thing was stock when we ran a stock ls1 it made between 400 and 410 horsepower this camshaft adds about 30 between 30 and 35 horsepower and a kind of similar amount of torque and this is a the this little you know truck cam works fairly well but so that's where we would have started but here's what happened when we ran our ls2 with the same camshaft You can see our LS2 bigger motor. It basically has everything going for it. It's bigger, it has higher compression, it has better head flow, it has a better intake manifold. It's kind of got everything on the LS2, and we see that here run with the same camshaft. Our, our 6 liter LS2 produced 495 horsepower and 486 foot pounds of torque. So we're looking at 445 versus 495. We're looking at about a 50 horsepower change in power, and that's kind of exactly where we were, uh, at least with the power ratings when they were stock, and that's kind of exactly where we were. When we ran these two stock, we're looking at about 410 versus 460, 465, so it's right in that range. So we always have that kind of spread between the two, and this is what we're looking at between uh, the two combinations. When we ran them NA, it's fairly consistently in favor of the LS2 by about 50 horsepower or so, but let's find out what happens when we add some boost. Okay, we've taken a look at our 5.7 liter LS1 versus a 6 liter LS2 with our uh, small comp cam. And, you know, we're looking at about a 50 or so horsepower difference between those two. Now let's take a look and see what happens when we added a Vortex supercharger. In fact, we added the same kit to both motors. Same blower, same air to water intercooler, same pulley and drive ratios. All we did was take one off of the LS1 and then later ran it on the LS2. And both of them, as I said, were equipped with the same, that same 265 comp cam. So here is our LS1 with the Vortex supercharger on it. Run with our supercharger out to 6,500 RPM where it made peak power. The Vortex supercharged 5.7 liter LS1 with the comp cam produced 675 horsepower. Peak torque checked in at 579 foot pounds of torque. We're going to take a look at the boost curves. This was at a peak of about 10 pounds. We'll also take a look at the difference in the boost curves offered by running the same blower and the same pulley on both combinations. But here's what happened when we added our LS2. The LS2, just as it did NA, made more power. 
with our Vortex Supercharger. On the cammed LS2, peak power checked in at 710 horsepower. Peak torque was up as well, 610 foot-pounds of torque. Both the supercharged combinations, the LS1 and the LS2, made peak power at 6,500 RPM, but both were still climbing because we have uh, an increase in airflow and the boost is rising as we go up in RPM with our centrifugal blower. So it tends to push power higher up in the rev range, and it did it on both combinations. Did it both on the LS1 and on the LS2. Peak torque occurred for both of these at, the, at within 100 RPM. One of them was at 5,000, one of them at 5,100. And you look at the numbers at 5,000, 5,100, the torque output may have varied by one foot pound. So we're kind of splitting hairs there. So you can see this is almost like, <laughs> This looks like we've changed the boost on one combination, like we've just added the boost. It has the railroad track configuration, and this is the same thing that happens when we add displacement. Basically, they had the same camshaft. They had um, similar head flow and stuff, and, and uh, obviously different NA power outputs. But when we, when we made that change, going with the same blower, we obviously had, you know, a good bit more power. And it's not surprising. We've said this many, many times on this channel. When you uh have more na power when you're starting out with more na power and you're adding boost whether it's a vortex supercharger like this or a turbo or a twin screw or roots blow or anything when you start out with more na power you end up with more boosted power and usually you'll do that either at the same boost level or in this case since we're running a centrifugal blower what we'll see when we take a look at the boost curve is that we had a drop in boost pressure <laughs> so it's an interesting deal but Bigger motor, more NA power, add the blower, and you make more power. And as we'll see, not only did it make more power with the same blower, but it made more power at a lower boost. Okay, we've taken a look at our LS1 versus LS2, naturally aspirated with our cam, and then with our Vortex Supercharger. And not surprisingly, the bigger, better motor made more power NA, and the bigger, better motor <laughs> made more power with the supercharger. But the interesting thing is when we did this, because we didn't change the pulley ratio, we put the same blower and the same crank pulley, same blower pulley, and same intercooler. All of that stuff was the same. In fact, the motor had the same camshaft in it. <clears throat> when we ran that combination, an interesting thing happened to the boost curve. We saw, if you want to check out the the videos that I did on individually on the LS1 and the LS2, you can see where I covered, especially on the LS1, when we put the camshaft in the LS1, I showed you what the change in boost pressure was. So we had a change of about a, the, at the maximum of about one pound of boost from going from the stock cam to the 265 comp cam. So the cam changed the boost and, and changed it primarily at the top of the rev range, very little at the bottom and more at the top. So the camshaft affected the boost curve. Now let's take a look and see what happens when we go from, you know, one, one more powerful motor and one less powerful motor running the same blower and the same pulley combination. What happens to the boost curves? predictably obviously the boost pressure went down when we went up in displacement and power but here is the boost curve on our cam and vortex supercharged ls1 we started out at 2.6 psi down here at 3100 rpm and it rose steadily to a peak of 10 pounds out here at 6500 and you can see the boost curve is actually still climbing just like the horsepower curve, it would have continued to make more power had we run it out higher than 6,500 RPM. But now let's take a look and see what happens to our curve. Same blower, same pulley on the more powerful LS2. <clears throat> and our LS2 number is down below the LS1. It started out at just 2 PSI at 3,100 RPM. So it was down you know, six tenths of a pound from 2.6 down to 2.0 at the starting point of 3,100 RPM and rose only to a peak boost level of 7.7 .7 pounds at 6,500 RPM. So it was down going from the LS1 with the cam to the LS2 with the cam, dropped boost by 2.3 PSI from 10 pounds down to 7.7 .7 PSI so we not only did we gain a bunch of power, we went from 675 horsepower to 710 horsepower. So we went up about 45 horsepower. So it seems like um, even when the LS1 and LS2 are stock, they're about 
50 horsepower difference. And then when we had the cams in them, they're around 50 horsepower difference. And when they're supercharged, they were around 50 horsepower difference. This was 45. So it's kind of all right in that ballpark. Now, both of these were run fairly conservative. I didn't want to hurt either one of these motors. This was only about 17, 18 degrees of total timing on each one of them. They would definitely make more power with more timing. But, and, and we ran these, as I said, on pump gas, a mixture of pump gas and 100 octane. But the interesting thing is that we, you know, obviously if you have your choice of these two combinations, you'd pick the bigger, more powerful one. And, and not just for the reason that it's bigger and more powerful, but also it's bigger and more powerful at a lower boost level, which would make the thing less likely to detonate. In fact, at 7.7 .7 pounds, you could certainly run this thing at this timing level and this power level on just pump gas. Like I said, we, we, threw, we threw the splash in there just to make ourselves feel better because um, I didn't want to hurt, especially the LS2, I didn't want to hurt that like factory crate motor because it was valuable and I had lots and lots of plans for it because we ran lots and lots of testing. So there you have it. When you run a bigger, more powerful motor with the same blower and the same pulley ratio, you're going to drop boost and you're going to add power. And this is always what happens. I'm Richard Arnold. Please make sure, as always, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. More testing coming up.